Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you are doing well and you're having a fantastic day. Um, in today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at what is going on like with this connection. Why is this connection so weird? So I know sometimes I do do quite a lot of readings on um, love because I like them, but I promise that I have further like other readings coming this week, but this one was really on my mind. Um, and so I have to, I have to, I have to kind of like do this. I don't know why this is such a strong urge, but yeah. So um, this can be applicable to any connection, primarily romantic, I think already, but this can be somebody you're with right now. Maybe they're acting a little bit weird, or this can just be a past person that you're looking for more clarity on. So really it can be any one of these things. So spirit, um, let's connect. I'm going to go ahead and show you the three piles. Pile one, we have the cute elephant. Um, pile number two, we have the Russian dolls. Also, I did have a comment once. There are more dolls in there. Okay. And pile three, we have the crap. So if you did need some more time, you can go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead, though, and start with pile number one. Hello, pile one. How are you? If you chose the elephant with its little um, tongue, what is it called? Is it a tusk? With its tusk up, um, this is your reading. Let me go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to connect. I'm already hearing a lot coming through, so give me a second here to connect. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of the collective that shows pile number one? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile one so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. I ask that you continue to protect pile one, keep them safe and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing the phrase make love not war so this person could have been very much like trying to avoid disharmony in the connection or they could have been very apathetic that's the second word i heard so i'm gonna say it um one of you this is gonna sound really weird but one of you could have been more neat than the other person and eventually this did end up kind of um, pulling the connection apart if that makes sense um yeah I feel as well like this person and you could have had some funky power power dynamics that does seem to be coming through. Pile one, please. What? Why is their connection so weird or what happened here to make this connection so weird? You have two of pentacles. There could have been other things here, okay? There could have been other um, obstacles in the way, other people, maybe not necessarily people. I'm getting busyness though. So one or both of you could have been very busy, which might have made it hard for the connection to really ground down. Um, I do feel like that is something that's coming through, that kind of exhaustion. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed, feeling like you guys both had so many different things that you had to take take into consideration. What else? Five of Cups. I also feel like there was a lot of things that weren't really talked about. Um, about past pain. It seems to me like there's a lot of, there were conversations here that happened where there was a lack of communication, especially around the past. And that was a problem. Someone here could have been projecting. There was past issues that weren't getting resolved. Yeah, we have present moment. Interesting, because I was just talking about the past. There is like an inability to anchor into the present moment. I feel like that's something that was really bothering both of you. It's like you you could have never really been on the same page. Someone was also, either you or this person was really continuing to hold on to a past connection. What else? Spirit of Cups. Mm. Again, that immaturity. There could have been an age gap here, a difference in terms of spiritual vibration. There was just some kind of like a split like one of you was more mature in the than the other person in some sort of a way and this did kind of affect this connection or it is affecting this connection for instance maybe one of you has more money one of you has a higher position or it could even be on the spiritual level one of you is more 
I don't know how to put this, but like just more mature than the other person. Actually, I want to take a look here. Spirit's asking me to look at the bottom of the deck. Embodiment of Wands, King of Wands. Um, so sorry, for signs we have uh, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Again, we have a King and a, and a Page, essentially. A big gap, right? So again, one of you could have been more like aware, more balanced than the other person. Tell me what else. We have Shake Up. Things are being shaken up to create change. The status quo is not creating growth or movement in your situation. A self-initiated tower moment. Someone could have gone through like a major shakeup in their own life. And this could have really affected the connection as well. Because it's a self-initiated tower moment, I kind of feel like someone here took the initiative to change themselves or they were really focusing on their own internal growth, which in turn did impact the connection and the, the, the solid nature of the connection. This is the thing. When one person evolves, if the other person does not also evolve, it does end up being that one person tends to be um, moving into a different direction altogether, which can create a bit of a strain. But there could have been a shakeup. Someone here could have changed. What else? Why was this? Why is this connection so weird? Why is this connection so weird? We have adjustments. Learning that all people evolve and grow, getting to know someone all over again, not limiting others. They're realizing you're not the same person as before. Yeah. So perhaps, you know, it was you that changed. Maybe let's, let's go with that timeline. You changed, you transformed, you moved into a different area of your life altogether. This person was having a hard time adjusting to this new version of you. They felt kind of like annoyed that you had changed so quickly. They didn't know what to do. And they were a little bit upset with you for, for transforming so much. I think this person felt like you didn't see them anymore or you were just in a different space altogether. What else? We have uncertainty. You have no labels established. You have nothing concrete to work off to determine the direction of this connection. Things are up in the air. When we have an uncertain connection where there is no discussion of like, what are we doing here? Um, that can always lead to weird vibrational energy because it's like, well, there's like this weird in-between space that could have happened here where both of you sort of felt like you didn't know exactly where to stand with the other person. That was and that does affect the vibrational frequency here. So there is something to be said about the energy of that I think um we can't we can't deny that that's the case here is like this uncertain energy really did permeate into the connection and we do also have controlling being manipulated or micromanaged someone may be trying to direct the flow and the outcome of the situation rather than letting things naturally flow this really also just gives me a sense naturally that one of you was more free-spirited than the other and so this dynamic created a lot of like push-pull I also feel like when, when somebody here could have like a, like a Gemini moon or an Aquarius moon, something like a little bit outside of the box. This person could have underestimated your uniqueness. And in doing so, they maybe tried to pigeonhole you. What led to this connection? Why should I say that? I shouldn't say that. Why is this connection so weird for Pound Ones? This maybe was a mis mismatch. Do you know what I mean? Like that's kind of the energy I'm feeling. We have the central sun, abundance downloads, regeneration, and success. One of you could have had more natural energy. I, what I mean by that is I feel one person here is a lot more connected to spirit than the other person. And when you do have this natural connection to spirit, oftentimes it can lead to you being recharged by the divine. Like you may not need the same types of things as this person does. Not only that, but I do feel you were entering a time in your life where you were accomplishing, attracting, um, magnetizing a lot of success towards you. Honestly, this could have led to jealousy if I'm being totally honest. Like I could definitely see that vibration coming through here. Yeah, look, we have solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower. One of you has a lot more natural confidence in your ability to create and your ability to flourish. The other person still feels like they're finding their sea legs. 
I feel like, you know, when you have an overcharged solar plexus, it can lead to like overconfidence, cockiness. So I feel like somebody here was pretending like they had their shit together. But in reality, the other person had more natural innate power. So there is like this power dynamic coming through. Obviously, you can identify what part, like who, who you are in this scenario. But I will say that activating the solar plexus is really one of the best ways to harness um, that life force energy that we all need here on this planet to succeed and to be driven and to be seen. Because I am getting one person might have been more visible than the other person, whatever that means. Okay, this is really funny too, but Spirit keeps saying breath mints, breath mints. So I'm almost wondering if this connection could have also been weird because somebody's breath could have stank. I'm also hearing um, that there was like a re recurring theme in this connection that kept popping up and you could have been very frustrated with this thing constantly coming up. You could have asked this person like, what's going on here? When are we going to snap out of this theme? But it just continued to perpetuate, which continued to drive you crazy. So there's something about a pattern here that kept happening um, that I did. I do feel also led to some confusion here and overall a weird energy. So yes, that is what I have, final one. Interesting, interesting stuff. I mean, I think sometimes it's a good idea to take like a, a look at maybe what happened here, right? Because it's, especially because I feel like people are so prone to not discussing in real life, like what happened. So it can lead to a lot of unanswered questions. And I mean, who likes that? Nobody. So yes, that is what I have. Put that there. While I take it, I'm taking a sip of water. I know some of you hate when I drink because you think I should be a robot. So I'm going to lean away, okay? Plug your ears. Okay, hello, Paltu. How are you? If you chose this Russian doll, then this is your reading. Welcome. I'm just going to go ahead here and tap right into your energy. Please give me one second to connect. Oh, I'm already hearing some stuff. Okay. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number two who chose the Russian dolls? I ask that you come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. I ask that you help to protect pile two, keep them safe, guided. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now, when I was touching the Russian dolls in the beginning, the first thing I kept hearing was, um, I was hearing a fight, and someone kept saying, you're so annoy annoying and you're so lazy. So, there could have been a difference in terms of, like, ambition, levels of ambition, right? One person here could have been more ambitious than the other. One person could have been more lazy. Um, there's definitely, sorry, the puppies are coming. Hi, boys. There's definitely this energy of needing... See, they're fighting. Well, that's crazy because I was just talking about that. I was hearing a fight. Um, no, don't growl at each other. They just came from outside. I feel like there was a, a difference in terms of what you guys were doing or what you were building. Um, and that could have really created strain in the connection pretty much from the get-go. Those are really harsh words, by the way. You have to be careful about what you're saying. Pile number two, please. Why is their connection so weird? King of Wands. Hi, Lucky Boo. The Magician. Why is their connection so weird? The Devil. Okay. The Five of Wands. Okay. What's interesting is I kept seeing the King of Pentacles. I thought it was going to come out, but it didn't. So for some... Okay, first of all, let me slow down. There could have been a competition here. That's one thing I'll say right away. Especially with that Five of Wands can sometimes indicate third-party energy. Um, so there could have been additional people here who were messing up this connection. For signs, I'm getting fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Aries coming through twice, uh, Capricorn as well, sun, moon, or rising. Fights, arguments, confusion, possibility here, unfortunately for some of you, of spiritual interference, specifically magic. Especially with the devil there, like dang, somebody here could have been doing some like obsession spells or something on either you or your person. There is interference here, and this could have really created weirdness in the connection. But it could also be that one of you is more traditionally successful, and the other one is more like, I don't know how to put this, conventional, maybe, is the way I want to put it. Someone here could be 
very creative and the non-creative person could have also really looked down upon the creative individual here. And I'm getting third party energy. Okay, so a lot of different things here. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords, which is heartbreak. Um, so another thing that could have been creating weird energy in this connection could be heartbreak from other people. Um, maybe again, spiritual interferences from other people. This connection also, because for me, I see the magician and the devil as two of the more sexy cards of the deck. So this connection could have been based a lot on passion, but not really on anything else. Tell me what else here, spirit. Good boys. What else, please? What made this connection so weird? They have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Well, that will do it. Being able to completely switch up on someone without a rhyme or reason. A dangerous person who can flip the script on you at any time moment a moody weirdo well that's great because that's literally the, the topic of the day here okay someone here is very inconsistent with their attitude like they really could have switched things up very quickly there's a really almost like a scary energy where it's like one person was really prone to switching up okay i have to say this i'm sorry this is not going to resonate for everybody that's fine but it might resonate for one person and i want you to know this so it explains what happened here for somebody here, there was some sort of spiritual entity or attachment. Um, whether this person was aware of that or not, whether you were aware of that or not, that could have been a reason for some of this energy. I just have to say that. We have sabotage. Doing things to cause a connection to fail, they are purposely creating problems or blockages to prevent you both from coming into a successful union. Yeah, I'm getting third-party interference here with some sort of sabotage. This person could have sent entities your way. If this person was married, especially, this is definitely somebody coming up from the past here. I also feel like one person could have always wanted the other person to improve in some way, shape, or form. And this could have really been weighing heavily. But I am getting interference here, spiritual interference. What else? We have stubborn. Refusing to learn from the past and grow. They keep repeating the same karmic lessons, refusing to change or see things from a different perspective. Sorry about the spirit burp. Sometimes they happen when I'm on the right path, um, especially when I'm dealing with like more heavy energy or um, entity attachment. So that's just a confirmation for me personally that there was someone in this group who had some kind of an entity attachment, unfortunately. Now, if you couple that with the stubborn personality, you're not in a good space here to really connect with, with the other person. So for some of you, there was a lot of confusion that was cast on this connection. Plus, somebody was really in their ego, um, which created just like this lack of uh, the ability to flow in, in this connection in a positive way, unfortunately. What else here? We have worries. Focusing heavily on the negative aspects of life, being overwhelmed with anxiety. Making things awkward for others around them, stressing out about things. Okay, here's the thing too. I feel one person here was maybe more creative and this creative person might have been having a bit more success in their life. The other person might have been very traditional in their career and they just constantly felt worried, especially about finances. I'm hearing the name Trevor. Um, but anyways, this, this person who's heavily focused on finances, it could have really projected a lot of fears onto the, the other person. Um, which the other person was not struggling in, in any way, shape, or form. Also, if you were with this person and you noticed that there was a lot of like weird, uh, weird energy or emotions um, popping up for you, or maybe you're worried about things that you weren't normally worried about, I, I will say this could have been because of a, a some sort of spiritual interference. Okay, why else? We have angelic frequency. Angels are here. You are safe. Potent connection. This connection could have gotten weird too because somebody's spiritual team could have interfered to help protect. This could have felt very harsh or sudden, but there was a lot of, the the intention was to protect, the intention was to close off um, the, the line of communication between you and this person because someone's spiritual team was getting concerned, concerned for that person. Um, this could be your spiritual team. For instance, if you just felt like all of a sudden the connection just stopped, you need to consider that maybe it was your team functioning to protect you. What else? We have Halls of Ameti initiation. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiations. Yeah, I just feel like 
you guys are going down different paths. You could have uncovered something very unsatisfactory about this person and it made you feel like, no, I'm good. I don't want to be around this individual. Someone here could have decided as well to go back to school or to get further education. Um, the other person could have been very jealous or envious about this. I feel like, I don't know, I do feel like somebody here maybe was privy or working a little bit with some more toxic energy. And that is something I want you to be aware of. It's just like really important to remember that sometimes people do things because they have additional attachments or other things going on. But I am here in crisis. So there could have been like an event or a crisis moment that really came in and created um, this energy. But I'm really getting heavy protection. I feel like it was meant to be a blessing for you, not a punishment. So yeah, that is what I have piled to. Very interesting. So I was not expecting this kind of energy to pop up today, but I have an obligation to go with the flow because um, somebody here needed to hear that. And of course, if it's not your message, it's not your message. That's totally fine. Not everything is going to be your message, unless of course it's a personal reading, in which case most things should apply. Hello, Pal3. How are you? If you chose this crap, then this is your reading. Welcome. Just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Give me one second here. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy, please, of Pow 3 who chose the crab? Please help bring forth messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pow 3 so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, right off the bat, I am feeling for someone here, there could have been some sort of mm, sexual interference. So there could have been third-party energy. Somebody here ha could have had unusual fetishes, unusual, I don't know, desires. This could have really led to some kind of a break here. I'm hearing um, as well that there could have been rumors, unfortunately, spread that got in the way of this connection developing properly. For someone here, um, there was this energy of like hoping that this person would stand up for you or something and then they did it. Someone here, this person could have given you a sickness. I'm more feeling like literally a cold or even COVID. And this really affected the flow of this connection for somebody here. I just have to say that because for some reason that's coming through. Somebody's ancestors here did not like this person. Pile three, please. Why is this connection so weird or what happened to make this connection be so strange? We have the action of wands. Yeah, that's my typical F-boy energy type of card. Okay, so somebody here could have been F-boy, F-girl. Again, there could have been that energy of like outside influences here around physicality and intimacy. Six of swords. There could also have been somebody moving away. And, you know, that always does tend to move the connection into a different space. What else? The Hermit. We have Life Force Energy. Okay, we have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have uh, Virgo Energy up here. Very different energies, I will say. You guys could have been very different from each other anyways, which could have led, of course, to this weird energy. So yes, third party energy could have been present here for sure. There could be distance. I genuinely think one of you was more mature than the other person anyways, but there, this could also be like a very classic introvert versus extrovert energy. One of you could have been more introverted um, than the other person. I'm hearing the name Cassandra, Cassie. See a strong C name coming through. I feel for one of you, you started to notice that this person um, was draining your energy. And this led to you feeling very, very frustrated and you had to distance yourself. Maybe it wasn't always like that, but there became a point where you really couldn't deny that this person was kind of draining you. Like this person really, you could have noticed like you felt a lot better when you were away, away from this person. I also feel like there was a genuine sense of selfishness here um, that this person might've had. 
Someone here could have been very sharp with their words as well. What else? Mean. Oh, I almost dropped this one. We have trickery. Creating arguments and fights to create reasons to disconnect from you. Initiating breaks to date others. Mm. Then returning when they are finished playing around. Yeah, this could have been constant start-stop energy. One day they're with you, the next day they're without you. Um, again, creating diversions to be with other people so that they didn't have to take accountability for technically cheating on you. Um, and just genu genuine trickery or buffoonery could have been taking place here as well. I feel like a lot of what you felt innately was the truth. What else? We have eggshells. A fragile situation where one tiny move could set the other person off. Having to watch what you say and do around them. Not being able to be yourself and as to not offend. Yeah, I think um, one one person here could have had a pretty explosive anger. Like they could have been very angry very quickly. Um, and this could have led to a lot of fights, arguments, and disagreements. So I feel like the other person kind of closed off from even communicating or from communicating how, how anxious they were feeling. There's like this energy of like, I, I can't fight with you. So I'm just like going to really moderate my behavior so that I don't bug you. And of course, over time, that will lead to weirdness because you're not being authentic, right? But that really did affect this connection, I feel. Tell me what else. We have chaos agent. They're here to bring in chaos and confusion. This is an empath narcissist paradigm. They are attracted to caring, loving, and healthy individuals. Yeah. So why did this connection go weird? Why did it kind of fall apart? Well, one of you could have been a lot more mature than the other. One of you could be an empath and the other could be a narcissist. And of course, that's going to create this block. I definitely feel like there was a lot that came up here between... Um, you needing to take, or I guess whoever the empath is, needing to take a step back because their energy was being drained. Um, this person could have created a lot of chaos. It was like everything was falling apart when you had this person in your life. So there's this energy of like needing to walk in a different direction. We have unsent messages. They want to apologize, clear the air, and patch things up, but they're keeping it to themselves. Unsent text messages, calls, or communication, the talk not happening. Another reason why things here could have gotten so weird is because there was never like a clear apology um, from, from this person or from the narcissist. They could have wanted to say something for sure. They could have been thinking, I'm going to apologize for whatever I did here. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to offer this person a valuable apology and they're going to forgive me. But then when it came down to actually communicating with you, this person just like never sent the message. So there was always this confusion, which of course leads to weirdness because then you feel like there's, you feel that, that there's weird energy, even if it's not being discussed, you can sense it, right? So there was a strong realization, I think, about that, which can't be denied. bottom of the deck we have the lights so I will say that one person here definitely is more of like what I would call a light worker than the other person the other person feels very chaotic and very immature so in and of itself I feel like there was a pretty strong vibrational uh disagreement here I will say okay why else here why was this connection so weird why is this connection weird mm-hmm we have Earth Star activation, anchoring grounded action, ISIS energy. I felt, I felt, I feel one person here is a lot more grounded than the other person. I feel like whoever this grounded person is, you might have started to feel very irritated with the non grounded person because there was just a sense of like constantly having to make this person feel better about themselves or something. Like you just felt very, very drained around this person. Um, I feel like you were really ready to build something new. This person may not have been in that space. There was a lot of arguments from the beginning, a lot of push-pull from the beginning. 
We also have Starbane Healing Coats. Important information, wounds are healed, recharging. I will say this. If you identify here as the empath, I do think you actually help this person tremendously in their life in some capacity. They are stepping for, forward to say that. That being said, they might have not really put in efforts towards helping you in any capacity. So while they could have gotten their hit from you, taken the energy from you, you could have felt extremely drained, sad, or pushed out around this person's energy. You could have felt just exhausted. Um, and I do think this person is aware that they were doing this in some capacity. But you guys are very, or I guess if you identify as the empath, there's someone here is very highly evolved. And in essence, that is going to lead to this person attracting other people to them who may not be, you know, good enough for them. So that's just something we need to consider because um, I am feeling that coming through. But yeah, there's a lot of issues here for sure I could feel. <laughs> so yes, that is what I have. I'm sending you the biggest hug ever. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's such a pleasure to connect with you. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.